Jason Williams, number 40, in white, hasn't played all year. All those knee injuries, and she gets to start on senior day. Seven knee surgeries. What an opportunity for Madison Williams. Has not started a game since the McDonald's All-American game five years ago. An amazing story. Outside shot by Gusser, the freshman who has been pressed into major minutes. Gets Michigan State off on the right foot. Boy, Rutgers is frustrated now. 10 to go in the first half. The Spartans leading 5-4. Mills working on the left block. Kicked out Jack Koska. Left corner three. Yes. Jack Koska with five early points. The Spartans are up 8-4. Five minutes into the first half. You got a mismatch. Good take by Mills. How about that? Took it right to Ariel Butts. Shot clock winding down. Jack Koska fires up a three from NBA range. Taken by Rutgers. Mills jump pass inside to Johnson. She goes up off the window and in. Sat on the front of the rim and then fell through. First two points for Johnson and another assist for Becca Mills. The Spartans lead 10 7. Escape on Jankoska. Powers left open for three. Buries it. Great execution. Rutgers gets lost in the screen. The screener action and Ariel Powers gets one and knocks it down. So that's a big shot for Morrissey. Able to knock it down. And again, Susie Merchant talked about the fact making timely buckets. If you can get Kara Miller and Morrissey making timely buckets for this team. Up to the top, Miller steps inside the arc, sends it over to the right wing, and Jankoska right corner three. Too strong, and Powers has the rebound, goes back up off the glass and lays it in. Mills inside. Becca Mills, the senior. And this crowd is loving it. How about their biggest lead of the day at 10 points? This is a team who's used to competing for championships. And Becca Mills, the senior, has been a part of championship team. She understands what it takes. She knows it's going to take a collective effort if they want to upset Rutgers, and she's doing her part. Ten seconds to go in the ball game. Michigan State leads 60 to 50. Tossed ahead to Gusser. Spartans will get their second win against the top 25 opponent this year. This was a big win, and there's the buzzer. On senior day, the Spartans defeat the Scarlet Knights 60-50. to An extraordinarily impressive defensive performance out of the Spartans this afternoon. Becca Mills gets her curtain call. as they go and kiss the spark in mid-court. I think our senior class was very unique. I mean, that's probably the best way to describe them. It was everything from um, a volleyball player that we added mid-season because of our depth issues and injuries to uh, a walk-on who couldn't contribute at all due to her injuries, to a walk-on who now became a starter, to Madison Williams, obviously, as a senior who you know, has endured so much, and to watch her you know, be able to do a ceremonial tip and end her career in a positive way to, an, to a thousand point score. I mean, you just you, you ran the gamut of um, how they contributed to the program in such a unique and personal way. The biggest thing about me playing here is yes, it was great that I finally, you know, proved it to myself and I survived and I made it through all those injuries and I played and I got on the court and I was like a little bit successful, you know, so I think that was great. But I think the biggest thing that I'm I'm happy that I did it to prove to myself that it that's not what it was all about. It wasn't about, you know, wanting to have stats, it wasn't about the number of minutes, you know. I don't think I would have wanted any more minutes than I had because I think, you know, that was God's plan for me. But I, I think that it really taught me that being at Michigan State and being a college athlete and doing things with your life isn't just about, you know, the, the end result, like the stat. It's, you know, how you got there and how you changed and how you grew during that. So I think that was the biggest thing about actually playing is I learned that it wasn't all about playing. I, if I could do this a hundred times over, I'd pick Michigan State a hundred times out of a hundred times, you know. Not just um, the basketball program, but just the school in general. 
It's the best fans, you know, the best campus, the best atmosphere. Our teams are so close, and I mean that by men's basketball team, football team, volleyball team, you know, um, softball team, everyone. Like, all our sports are so intertwined here, and I don't think you get that everywhere. So I'm so blessed to have had such a great experience. The biggest thing you have to look at is just, you know, it isn't sometimes what the opportunity you get, it's what you do when you get it. And I think when you look at the, these five kids, they've all been given opportunities. You know, some have been hampered by injuries, others have had the opportunity to play and step up, and their roles have always changed, adjusted throughout the season, throughout year to year. And just to watch them be able to understand how important their role is, no matter what we need from them, they're willing to do it but to do it in a way with such class and dignity. Um, being a Spartan just means everything to me. I'd be a Spartan for life. Just being able to wear the green and white is just something that um, I will always love and I will always appreciate. This has been a wonderful opportunity, an experience that I wouldn't change for anything. securely fastened and your carry-on items stowed. On behalf of Charter Air Transport and crew members, I thank you for flying with us today. We hope you enjoyed the flight and have a great evening. Thank you. Off. Ariel powers at the top. Now give it to Mills on the right elbow. Back out to Powers. Tries a right wing three and knocks it down. Ariel Powers hitting her first three of the game, shooting 31% from long range. And Costa's got the bounce on the right wing. Gives it to Morrissey at the top, then over to the near side for Powers. Over it pass to Morrissey. She tries the top side three and knocks it down. Morrissey, two of two from long range in the early going, and the Spartans are up 21 to 10. Search, she gets stripped, but Mills picks it up and gets it to Gusser at the free throw line. Out to the left wing, Morrissey. Her left wing three is no good. Jankoska, put back is in off the window. So after Jankoska sat for the last few minutes of the first half in foul trouble, she gets back up more quickly, and now has eight, skips it out to Powers. She tries a left corner three and knocks it down. Ariel Powers with the three ball. Powers with the basketball for Michigan State. A pass fired inside. Johnson, one dribble, up off the glass it in. Spartans have no more timeouts. Two point game, five seconds left. Illinois from right to left. Up to Carter, right wing three. Air balled it. Powers with the rebound, the buzzer sounds, and the Spartans will exhale and come out of Champaign with the win. Tori Jankoska, part of that one-two offensive punch for the Spartans. She's coming off a career-high six three-pointers against Illinois, and keep an eye on Becca Mills in the middle. MSG plays significantly better when she does, coming off of three straight double-figure scoring games. Jankoska ready to inbound on baseline. Lobs it up to Kennedy Johnson at the top, tries a long two, and knocks it down. All right, Kennedy Johnson is great shooting stroke. That momentum time, and that's a big momentum pusher. Jankoska knocking down yet another three. With Ariel Powers out, Jankoska steps up and knocks down the three, her third of the game. Thought about a near side three. Goes back up to Morrissey, top side three, got it. Anna Morrissey with a three ball, that's her first of the game. Mills gets it back. Decides to put it right back. <laughs> that's a big shot for Mills, and exactly what this team needed. They have to get a little more inside scoring. Kick out to Power. She wants to take it. She does take it. Oh, oh, she found the space to make that. She has got some moves. Funky ones. Max it out with seven to shoot. 
on the center logo. Now with four to shoot, spins the free throw line, drive to the rack, goes up with the left hand and lays it in. Dan Costco to 22 points off a great take. Michigan State has only missed one free throw as a team. There's that big steal. Big steal from Jack Koska. Put it ice it for two. Cherry on top for Michigan State. Well, this turned quickly, and again, defense made a huge difference. What a finish. And when the Spartans needed it most, they turned to their sophomore, and it was a sophomore named Tori Jankowska. Most recent injury is a torn ACL on my left knee. It occurred this summer, the second part of summer. I was at open gym and I did a Euro step and my knee buckled and I just fell. And at first I didn't think I tore it, but once they got the MRI, they saw that I tore it. So it's devastating, but it's nothing I can do now. I kind of got off to a slow start this season just coming off my second concussion at the end of last year. So I was just kind of, you know, a little bit behind schedule. And then I finally got back in shape, like started working out more. I was able to practice and obviously able to play. And then like beginning of December, the Georgia game on the road, I tried taking a charge and that didn't really work out in my favor. And I hit my head on the floor and got another concussion. And not having Hines and Brandy this year certainly hurt our team. I mean, those are two tremendous players. I don't think anybody made the strides in development as a player as in an off season as Brandy did. Uh, Jasmine Hines is really coming into her own and had some you know concussion uh, issues, and really was playing extremely well when they shut her down. So, you know, I look at both those kids and the contributions they could have had this year, but. At the same time, I think through this process, they've seen the game a different way. Just seeing the struggle that our team been having, so just watching that and knowing that I could be out there helping them. And I know how it's probably feel the same way, but I mean, you just gotta sit back and just make sure that you are healthy and not rush everything. This is supposed to be my senior year and you know like with my buddies you know Maddie and Anna and Becca I mean we're all really close and obviously I wanted to you know have a good year with them and just given like how our season started like we started off with you know a really good record we were all playing really good together and then for you know my injury to happen you know everyone kind of beat up but, you know it just kind of took a turn that we all weren't really expecting so it's it's kind of hard to watch especially like not really you know being able to be around and I mean they're like my sisters so it kind of it's a bummer that I'm not, you know, around them as much. You know, Brandy got a taste of it and then it was taken from her. And to watch her drive and also watch Ariel Power's development, I think has been important for Brandy. And I say that in that, you know, Ariel going from what she was as a freshman to a sophomore, that's exactly where Brandy is. And Brandy's gonna, her game is, people are gonna wonder where that kid's been, to be honest with you. I mean, she's, she's gonna have a tremendous, season next year. Uh, her rehab is going extremely well. She's worked really, really hard at that and now is in the phase where she's actually on the court becoming a basketball player again instead of somebody that's going through a knee injury in a rehab situation. So I'm excited, thrilled to have Brandy back. Um, you know, Jazz Hines is someone that I think of anybody we miss, we miss that kid the most. I mean, you just can't manufacture what she can bring, the toughness, the physicality. I mean, she could get you 10, 12 points, six, eight rebounds without even trying, you know, not even designing a play. So for her now, she's in a phase where she's starting, she feels great, she's feeling much, much better. They're progressing her in a lot of the conditioning things and she's responding very well. I think she's excited about having an, uh, a senior year that isn't hampered with an on again, off again type practice or 
uh, game. So, you know, she, she's really going to hit the ground running. I think this is going to be the first off season where she can really commit to being a basketball player. You know, she's always had an injury in the summer that has sort of hampered her ability to improve her game, quite honestly. And this is a big summer for her, and I think she's excited about the opportunity. I, t I took the red shirt planning to play because I didn't want to, I mean, I don't want to end my career like this. It was, yeah, I've had three concussions, but at the same time, I just feel like I have a lot more to offer. And I feel like I've always, you know, there's always been something like a concussion, a hamstring, a hip, just something. And I just feel like by taking the red shirt that I can, first of all, get healthy and then just work on like my skill set and kind of develop that more. And I have, you know, a lot of time to do that because it's only March. So um, I have, you know, the rest of the season, you know, the summer to just get healthy, get in shape again, you know, work on my skills, develop my skills a little bit better. Well, I am not worried about getting hurt. I'm super excited about the next season. I feel like if I think about it, then that's how you get hurt. So if I just go out there and just play, have fun, I'm gonna be great. So I'm not even thinking about getting hurt again or anything. I'm just thinking about the next season and just doing better. We got a lot of great basketball here to play, so settle in. And we start with the 8-9 matchup, a rivalry matchup. No better way to start the Big Ten tournament than the 8-9 rivalry, Michigan State, Michigan. Right now, Michigan State has been on top 64 times to 18 times, but no one cares, because this season, Michigan has swept the last two. Now, they're going for the third. Six to shoot, powers to the near corner with a bounce, picks it up and gives it to Mills. Three to shoot, up to the top, Gusser, two, here's a three. Yes! Lexi Gusser knocks down the three balls. The shot clock expires, and the Spartans lead 5 0. Long pass ahead. Powers catches it in the front court, gets the free throw line, triggers the jumper, and knocks it down. Spartans hitting their shots early. Jan Koska's going to take it. Jan Koska, more than just a three point shooter, we talk about her depth and her range, but she can put it on the floor, get it off the bounce. Gusser got a piece, leads to the break. Jan Koska down to Powers, battling against Gorey. The kick out to Kira Miller, who knocks it down. <laughs> Michigan State inside out, great look. Top of the key, Morrison. Back to Gusser, right wing three. Got it. Lexi Gusser has not missed from beyond the arc. She's 4 4. Now they've changed up, gone into a 2-3 zone. They're trying everything to stop this team, but Becca Mills will have none of it. Need to shoot, Jack Oscar drives, gets the rack and flips it off the window. That's the first bucket for MSU in their second half. The tip from Ariel Powers. Mool is left all alone for two. With the right hand, missed it. And Johnson with the offensive board, back up off the window and in. She bobbled it, but was able to recover on one foot. How about Michigan State, who has won four of their last five, has struggled all season, and now some of everybody is stepping in big. Powers added to another double-double, 16 points, 13 boards, make it 23 double-doubles on the year. The best in conference play. And now the Spartans can dribble it out, and they will get the 20-point win against Michigan. 2-1, here's the buzzer. And the Spartans have won. They stay perfect all time against the Michigan Wolverines in the Big Ten Tournament. They are 5-0 against their arch rivals. They get the win today, 69-49 against the Michigan Wolverines. Yes, take losing very well you know it's just not so I'm not built that way um, you know the scoreboard matters to me winning and losing obviously matters and you know I think over time what I learned is that you know I had to understand that we did have limitations you know and I had to do whatever I could as a coach to empower these kids to give everything they possibly could every ounce of energy every mental commitment every physical commitment that they could to the game on game night and whatever that meant for me as a coach, I had to do. 
Sometimes it meant backing off. Sometimes it meant just film sessions. Sometimes it meant days off. Sometimes it meant walkthrough. I mean, we, we did more of that stuff this year uh, in the Big Ten than we've ever done before. And I think that's the reason why this team was able to come around. I think this is a reason why a lot of those kids started playing with confidence down the stretch. So what did it teach me? That it's really important that you have a pulse on your team. I think as a head coach, that's always your job. But sometimes when you have tunnel vision, it's about winning and losing. And when you have a, a broader perspective of putting your team just in a position to be successful in their own terms, um, to teach them to be a dangerous team. And I can't tell you how many teams that walked out of here in Breslin Arena just thankful to have squeaked by. I mean, there's, there's more teams than there's not. So to teach them and, and teach myself that being a dangerous team, whatever that means, win or lose, being a dangerous team is the most important thing that we can do right now, and that'll fuel the fire for the next play, the next series, the next game.